What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to set a minimum order quantity on your Shopify store. To do this, head over to your Shopify dashboard. If you don't already have a Shopify store, I will leave you a link to an extended free trial down below. Either way, once you're right here, we will basically have to open up the settings and we will then have to open up the Shopify app store right here. Now, usually I'm not a big fan of adding a lot of apps onto a Shopify store because this can on the long run actually significantly decrease the loading speed which can then later on decrease the actual conversion rate. However, in this case I actually researched this and I found a super lightweight app. So let me actually show you this. Just look for a quantity right here. And then you are going to see quite a lot of different options. Now, don't use any of these ones right here. Kaching bundles actually is a great app, but this doesn't going, but this isn't going to work for what we need. Rather, simply just click on OC quantity breaks right here. This is also going to have a completely free plan available, which is even going to work for all sorts of different and all amount of different orders. So make sure to just install this. And once we've installed it, just click on activate right here. This is then going to redirect us onto the Shopify theme right here on the left. Make sure to actually tick this on and then save this. Otherwise this isn't going to work. Then head back and I'm simply just going to refresh this uh, and then we can actually do the next step. Let's see if this has updated. Yeah, perfect. And now we can then actually set the limit purchases right here. Then right here on the limit purchase, just click on add a product as a limit, click on browse and select the product that you want to actually add a limit onto. And right here you can then set the minimum limit purchase as well as the maximum limit purchase. I'm just going to up this to free just as an example. And when we are now going to save this, and make sure to then actually also select this right here, set minimum as default quantity in product page. Also click on limit purchases for, yeah, basically just save this like this. Then when we are going to refresh the page, we can see that free quantities is going to be ticked. We can actually up this. However, when we are going to go under free, this is going to show us you have to choose a minimum of free products. That's basically it. I will see you in the next one.